I'd like to start your day, and we are so excited about our next guest. She is an icon, one of only 16 people, 16 to win the highly coveted EGOT. That's an Emmy, a Grammy, Oscar, and a Tony. Plus, she's won Golden Globes and the NAACP Award, Image Awards as well. Ladies and gentlemen, actor, author, producer, director, co-host of The View, the one, the only, Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi, welcome to BNC. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Good morning. I, I appreciate y'all letting Good me morning. come on and talk about uh, migraines oh, it's our and honor. how to make Yeah, we're going to definitely want to talk about migraines and how it's affecting your life and so many people around the country. I, I want to start with this, though, because when The View first started, uh, it revolutionized talk show television in the early morning, became iconic. We're trying to do the same thing here at BNC, where we're trying to give a unique perspective to the black community. Uh, in your opinion, with everything that's going on these days, how much is that needed? Well, I think it's any kind of any time we can have conversations and make people aware of what's going on in the world they may not be living in. Uh, it's important. So you have to, you know, you have to keep having those conversations and informing people and letting people know the good, the bad, and the ugly, and how to fix it. So I congratulate y'all because y'all are doing something wonderful. Whoopi, you're an icon, and thank you for that. Um, we appreciate you just starting your day with us, getting up here. And, and we do want to talk more about migraines. So, so let's just put it out there because, you know, COVID-19 has consumed us, as it rightly should. You know, uh, <laughs> President Biden announced that every adult should get a vaccine by the end of May. But at the same time, the right. pandemic has pushed some of our other ailments, real ailments, um, to the background migraines how long have you suffered with them and do you know what causes them you know what i i don't know what causes them actually but i've had them for at least 40 years and so mm -hmm. you know <laughs> they are devastating migraines stop everything in its tracks because you know you cannot function when you have a migraine so Imagine my surprise when Khloe Kardashian came onto the show that I do and was talking about uh, something called Nurtec ODT. And I said to her, come on now, does it really work? And she looked at me and she said, Whoopi, I'm telling you, you, if you have migraines, you need to try this. And so I went to my doctor, because that's what you do. You know, you go to your doctor and you say, hey, listen, I just heard about this, what do you think? And my doctor said, listen, anything that makes it better, you should try. And so I tried it and I have to tell you, <laughs> if you have crazy migraines, acute migraines, it, 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 it works amazingly well for you. You know, I mean, I just, once I, I took it, you know, uh, because I get these, I get sparklers, you know? And so that's how I know I'm about to get a migraine. I can see them in the, you know, coming down the road. And as soon as I saw the sparklers, I thought, well, okay, let me try this Nurtec ODT. And I have to tell you, I took it and the relief was really fast within an hour. And it was, it was like nothing I had ever tried before. Cause you just, put it on your tongue. You know, that's actually what the ODT is for, you know, orally dissolving tablet. You put it on your tongue and mm -hmm. it just melts and you can take it without water. And I'm telling you, it was it was a game changer. It was a, it was a game changer. I threaten my migraines now. Yes. They're so scared of me. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, well, well, it's it, good. It really I'm happy that you get, I'm oh, happy it, I'm sorry. I'm happy that you're getting the help that you need there. I, I, it was amazing. I, I did some research. 40 million people in this country suffer with migraines, 12% sure. of the population, and the, many of them are women. So I'm so happy that you're getting the help that you need because we don't need any more ailments right now. We're, we're dealing with a lot of stuff that's <laughs> happening in this country, racism, no. the pandemic. You got migraines right now. But you heard uh, President yeah. Biden come out and basically say that uh, if you're an adult, that you're going to get a shot if you want one vaccination about May, just how big of a deal is that for you? 
You know, I think anything that makes it better is a good idea. I, I'm I'm going to be getting my shot. I'm I'm of the age to go and do it, and so. I'm very happy, <laughs> you know, I'm happy that the migraines are getting better. I'm happy that I can get the shot. Life is looking good. Life is looking up for America, which I'm thrilled about. Hey, Whoopi, let's talk about the Golden Globes, if we can, just just a little bit. Um, you, you know, <laughs> we ticked off I all the accolades. Watch. Oh, you didn't? Well, neither did I, okay? No. Um, Andre Day, though, got Best <laughs> Actress. 35 years um, it took. Um, right. For people who think you're so celebrated, you're universally loved, was was your path difficult? Um, because when we see the Hollywood foreign press and you know 87 members, no blacks, um, what do we need to know? How do we work together to, to get some change there? Well, I think the first thing you need to know is that it is the foreign press. And so the questions are, where are the people who are in the foreign countries that cover the foreign press? You know, that's the first thing. Uh, if you have names to suggest to them, I, I would suggest doing it because I, I don't know that they are any more aware than anyone else was of where people were until somebody said, here's where you can find this person, here's where you can find this person. But it's, you know, it's going to take them time. They have to play catch up. They just do, and everybody does. And I think they'd like to, you know, they're trying. They just they just don't have the membership. They have 84 people. I don't, I couldn't tell you very much about the foreign press, except that they do the Golden Globes. Yeah, I mean, they got an issue with the Hollywood foreign press, no members there. You heard Eddie Murphy just come out uh, yesterday and basically say that uh, Paramount force him to put a white actor in the new movie that's coming out, coming to America. You've been around for a while and you're quite accomplished. Like once again, the EGOT, I want to celebrate you with you. You're so wonderful and you've done so much in this business, but how far do we need to go to overcome some of the, the still racism that goes on uh, in Hollywood? Well, I, you know, I wouldn't, first of all, I would not, I would not say I would not just put it in Hollywood. There's racism everywhere. So how do we get over the racism? What do we do? Uh, first of all, we have to tell people how to fix it. We have to say, this is what you have to do. Here's what we won't accept. Here's what we will accept. These are the things. And if you don't do it, here's how we're going to deal with you. You know, it's not enough anymore to say this is racist or that is racist. The question is, how do you fix it? How do you fix it? Well, mm -hmm. you know, you find the people who write the movies. You find the people who cast the movies. That would be helpful because you can't get mad if, if we're not represented, if no one's writing, you know, if we haven't taught people who are casting, you know, you can do a different kind of casting here. There are so many things to do that I think people are running around trying to find something to show that they're doing something when everybody just needs to stop and say, okay, what are the first things we need to do? And that's, I think, what needs to happen more than anything, you know, is we have to say, here's what it has to be. And if, I, if I'm not a writer, I gotta find somebody who is a writer. I gotta, I gotta make sure that there are opportunities for all, you know, spectrums of cinema. And I think that's what they're slowly trying to do. It's just not, it's never going to be fast enough for anybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a process. So Whoopi, you know, we don't remember The yeah. View without you. You're in your 19th year. It doesn't, it wouldn't be The View without Whoopi at this point. It's just day three for us. We're still working out the kinks. Hey. What advice do you have for us? Right. Well, first of all, I haven't been there 19 years. I'm, I'm okay, <laughs> so let me start step one, with get that. it right. Oh, had okay. a good yeah, had a good run without me. Uh, and, and all you have to do is be true. Just be true. Never make it personal. Always ask good questions. And don't be nasty to people, even when you want to be. It's not always easy to do. But basically, you want to give people information, like we're doing this morning. We want to give people information. Mm -hmm. You know, and so allow me to say again, you know, you can ask your doctor about Nertek ODT uh, for more information. Uh, it's a dissol orally dissolving tablet. 
uh, and it's for the acute treatment of migraine. So that's the information. That's what you want to do. You, unless you're an opinion show, you don't. You want to hold back on some of your opinions. If you are an opinion show, you want to give your opinion and and give some space for somebody else's. That's all I can recommend, and it seems to work for us. Yeah, it it's amazing well that you're able to you do all. everything that you're able to yeah. do with that debilitating uh, headache, the migraines. Uh, you are doing a fabulous job on The View. We appreciate you being here Thank you. on BNC with us this morning. And on Start Your Day, please come back anytime. I will. Thank you. Thanks, Whoopi. Uh, a lot to unpack. You know, when Whoopi right, Goldberg gives advice. Thank you so much. We have to listen, right? Um, and so we, we will um, mm. allow you to watch it again if you didn't get to see it. Um, you can record it. Don't worry. You can head to bnc.tv for a full replay. We're right back. Yeah, I mean, Whoopi Goldberg, an icon in our community, has done so much. An EGOT, I mean, an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, a Tony, NAACP Awards. What hasn't she done? And it's amazing, once again, I mean, she was on here to talk about migraines, and uh, I'm glad she was able to get that message out because, you know, just doing the research yeah. on Whoopi, I didn't realize so many people in this country suffered with migraines, and a lot of people like her don't even realize they have them. They just think they have a really bad headache behind the eyes. Yeah, and then rebound headaches and the whole thing. She said she started seeing sparklers, I think she called it, and you had it exactly right. 40 million people, and it makes you wonder how you're able to function, to parent, to moderate the view, and, and put up with you know what's mm, yeah. on the, the right, the left. You know everything's coming at you. Um, so it is a, a huge help to people who are suffering from that. And when she talked about Hollywood and being ready for the opportunity, because I think that's in part what she said. You can't expect other people to have your experiences and, and want to do for you. Um, you got to come in and grab it. And like she said, say, here's what we'll put up with. Here's what we're not going to accept. And um, I, I do think that sound advice. It's it's and get the story right. I think she gave us that advice, too. So, I mean, you know, we can always look at that as well. Yeah, I, I, I like what she said about, you know, it, there's racism everywhere uh, when it comes to Hollywood. Yeah. And, you know, we talked about what Eddie Murphy said with Paramount and uh, being forced to uh, put a white actor in uh, coming to America, which, okay, that's fine. You want to do that? You know, it's fine. If, if it's in the script. Uh, I'm just wondering if some producers look at some of the white directors or white actors in charge of movies and say, hey, you need to put a black person in the script. You've got to put a black person in the script. You know, that's, that's all I'm saying. Let's just kind of balance it out. Let's be fair. I uh, understand they got some issues there. But once again, like you said, Hollywood, sports, corporate America, microcosm of society. We got a problem here in this country when it comes to racism. And once again, I say this and I preach about it every single day until we get the equality and the fair treatment that we're looking for, we ain't gonna stop talking about it. I'm sorry. At least I'm gonna no, keep running my business no, when it comes to it. I want you to, and when she said, you know, have your opinion, um, don't be nasty about it, leave room for, for someone else to share. Yes, um, when it comes to your very existence though, sometimes you might have to pull a Whoopi Goldberg like she did and walk right off the stage or the set, if you will, um, it, it, you know, I think she did that uh, during Donald Trump's appearance uh, once. Uh, he was on there many times, but I do think that is sound advice for us as well, because you got to stand your ground when it comes to who you are, what you believe in. Um, and yes, other people can have opinions too, but not about who you are and the essence of you. Yeah, I mean, if that's you stand for who you are. There's only one you and you have to be proud of who you are sometimes you're going to be right a lot of times you're going to be wrong but sometimes you just got to own it and you have to admit when you're wrong and, and stand by what, what's right and hopefully you have the backing that it takes uh when you're right and i can only imagine being on a show like the view which is a great show don't get me wrong i love it you know you got different opinions talking back and forth and especially <laughs> these days when you got different opinions when it comes to politics and race and issues I mean, when it first started off they were talking about uh moms being at home and now how it's developed and i think like you asked her you know the advice that you would give us in day three you know 
we're going to change. We're going to develop over the years. But one thing is for sure, uh, I know, and as long as I'm here and as long as you're here and as long as the people that we know are in charge, we're going to continue to progress uh, the purpose uh, and the values of black people and uh, not be caught up in all the stereotypes that are out there about us. We want to learn. We want to inform. And we want to learn more about other people as well because that's the root to me of racism is the ignorance that's in, out there because we just don't know each other. So let's get to know each other.